Tree skirts are a centerpiece of Christmas decor. Choose your favorite embroidery designs, fabric, and embellishments to make a unique tree skirt that will be treasured for years to come. First, print out your pattern pieces and tape them together. Then cut out the pattern shape. You also want to print out paper templates of the embroidery designs you're going to use. When choosing your designs, check the dimensions to make sure they'll fit within your pattern piece with some room around the edges. We're going to cut out and embroider each panel separately. Cut a piece of fabric large enough for your pattern pieces with enough fabric around the edges that you'll be able to hoop it. Spray a piece of medium weight cutaway stabilizer with temporary spray adhesive, then smooth your fabric on top. Take your air erase pen or tailor's chalk and trace the pattern shape onto the right side of the fabric. Then grab your embroidery design template, position it where you want it, and mark the center point and axis lines. Use a ruler to extend the marks. Hoop your fabric matching the marked lines with the marks on the hoop. If you're using fabric with a pile, like velvet or velour, you can use a light water-soluble stabilizer as a topping to keep the stitches from sinking into the fabric too much. Before you start, make sure you position the needle directly over the center point you marked on your fabric. After the design is finished stitching, tear away the excess water-soluble topping, cut away the excess stabilizer on the back, leaving about a half an inch around the edge of the design. Then cut out the pattern shape along the lines you traced earlier. Repeat these steps to make a total of 12 panels. You can embroider on as many as you'd like and use one fabric or alternate between different fabrics. Lay out the panels in the order you would like. Take note of which two panels you want at the back of your tree skirt. You'll leave an opening between them and attach ties to those pieces. To start sewing the pieces together, pick two pieces next to each other. Pin the pieces right sides together along the side where they need to be connected. Sew a half inch seam along the pinned edge. Then press the seam open so the pieces lay flat side by side. Repeat these steps to sew together all the top pieces. Remember not to sew together the two back pieces. Create the bottom of your tree skirt just like you did the top. Cut out 12 fabric panels, then sew them together, leaving an opening at the back. Make six ties that are each 10 inches long. We're using ribbon. If you prefer, you can make your own ties out of fabric. For each back section, pin a tie 3 quarters inch from both the top and bottom edge with the raw edges matching. Measure 8 and 3 quarters inches down from the top tie and pin the third tie in place. Pin the long edges of the ties to the fabric so they won't move around and get caught in the seam. If you want, you can add a little extra embellishment to your tree skirt. We're using tassels from the fabric store. As we did with the ties, it's a good idea to tape or pin your trim out of the way so it won't get caught in the seam. After your trim is in place, lay the bottom piece over the top with the right sides together. Pin together all the edges carefully, matching up the corners and seams. Sew a half inch seam around the edges of your tree skirt. Leave an opening between two of the ties. Clip the seam allowance at all the corners and inside curve. This will make the seams line nice and flat once it's turned right side out. Turn your tree skirt right side out through the opening. Press the edges of the tree skirt so they lie nice and flat. Top stitch all the way around the pressed edges of your tree skirt to secure them in place and close the opening. You can match your bobbin thread to the color of your bottom fabric so the stitching blends in on both sides. If you want, you can also stitch in the ditch between each pair of the panels to help your tree skirt lay nice and flat. You can also quilt through the layers by stitching a decorative pattern across each panel. And your tree skirt is done! What kind of embroidered designs, fabrics, and trims will you use on your tree skirt? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great machine embroidery videos.